Welcome dear students, in this video I will discuss about uniform rectilinear motion. So, let us start uniform rectilinear motion. So, suppose a parachutist is freely falling from space, then when her weight equals the drag force, then she reaches terminal velocity. And suppose if she falls in a straight line, then we can say that the motion is uniform rectilinear motion. And for a particle in a uniform rectilinear motion, acceleration is zero. Acceleration zero means velocity is constant. Now we know that the equation for velocity is V is equal to dx by dt. Now if V is constant, then if we integrate then we can take v out of the integral and this is a straightforward integration the answer is x is equal to x naught plus vt for this equation you can use for the problems involving uniform rectilinear motion you cannot use this equation for accelerated motion okay Now, uniformly accelerated rectilinear motion. So, if some force is applied to a particle and uh, if a constant force, that means the magnitude as well as the direction of the force remains same, then the particle will exhibit uniformly accelerated rectilinear motion. Another example is a body freely falling and uh, when the drag force is negligible. So a freely falling body with negligible drag is also the example of uniformly accelerated rectilinear motion. Now let us move for consider for a particle in uniformly accelerated rectilinear motion the acceleration of the particle is constant. So we know that the acceleration can be written as A is equal to dV by dt. And for this condition since A is constant, so we can write this differential equation in the form of an integral. And you can easily integrate this because A can be taken out of the integral. So after the integration we got v is equal to v naught plus a t. Similarly, we know that velocity is equal to dx by dt and in place of v, we can write this. So this can be written in place of v. And now we can again integrate this equation and then we obtain this x is equal to x naught plus v naught t plus half a t square. So this is another equation. This equation is for the position. This equation is for velocity. And uh, again, we have this equation. So you can obtain this equation from this one by using the derivative formulas. Now, again you can integrate this and again this is the straightforward integration this will be equal to v square is equal to v naught square plus 2 a x minus x naught so these are the three equations which you can use to solve the problems related with uniformly accelerated linear rectilinear motion First equation is V is equal to V naught plus A T. Second equation is X is equal to X naught plus V naught T plus half A T square. And third equation is V square is equal to V naught square plus 2 A X minus X naught. So you need to be very, very careful that uh, these equations only applies to accelerated rectilinear motion. Now let us do one problem. So this is the problem. 
ball thrown vertically from 12 meter level so this is an elevator and this ball it is initially at the height of 12 meter and this ball is thrown at the same instant open platform elevator so there is an open platform elevator which is not shown in this figure so that is at around say i'm drawing it <coughs> so that elevator is around 5 meter height okay so at the same stand when this ball is thrown this elevator is moving upward with a velocity of 2 meter per second so this is our problem what we need to determine when and where ball hits elevator so at which location this ball will hit the elevator and at what time and second thing which we need to find relative velocity of ball and elevator at contact so when this ball hits the elevator then what will be their relative velocity okay now how we can solve this problem substitute initial position and velocity and constant acceleration of ball into the general equations so first we need to find the equations of motion for the ball and as well as for the elevator okay <coughs> so first we need to find the equations for both and then we will move further then what we will do write equation for relative position of ball with respect to elevator and solve for zero relative position because when both these ball and elevator will hit so their distance uh, relative distance will be zero means so they are on the same height so we can write the relative position and then we will solve for the zero relative position and lastly substitute impact time into equation for position of elevator and relative velocity of ball with respect to elevator so these are the steps which we need to follow so first we have applied the equations of motion to the ball so this because the motion of a ball is uniformly accelerated electric linear motion because a constant acceleration of this acceleration due to gravity is applied to the ball okay and drag force is negligible so the equation which we just learned we need to apply those equations so first equation v is equal to v naught plus a t so this initial velocity is given 18 so v b will be 18 uh, sorry v naught is 18 initial velocity and minus a v no 9.81 into t and uh, second equation is for the position so for the position we have y b is equal to y naught plus v naught t plus half a t square so simply put the unknowns initial height is 12 and this initial height is 12 initial velocity is 18 and this half a will be this so these are the equations for this ball now you will need to add the equation for the elevator so this is the elevator okay now this elevator is moving at the constant velocity though there is no acceleration okay so we need to apply the equation for uh, derived for uniform rectilinear motion without acceleration okay so that is only one equation y e is equal to y naught plus v e t okay so these we have applied the equations now let us move further and um, they both will collide then they are at the same height y b and y e they are equal that means their relative position uh, which we have written by this symbol y b slash e so that means relative position this is uh, showing the relative position so this will be equal to y b so this is y b this is y e so just subtract this and put equal to zero so this is a quadratic equation you can solve it 
and uh, the two solutions are t is equal to minus 0.39 which is meaningless so we reject this and t is equal to 3.65 so the time at which both the wall and elevator they will hit is 3.65 so this is first answer then uh, since we know that t then we can solve for ye so ye is equal to simply this y plus 2 t which will be equal to 12.3 meter so they will hit at 12.3 meter height and the relative velocity vb minus v so that will be equal to vb so this is equation for vb and v is constant too so when we solve this we obtain minus 19.81 meter per second so when they will hit each other then the relative velocity is minus 19.81 so this is how you can solve these type of problems so thanks all thanks for watching the video have a nice day we will meet soon